All right, so Redmi K20 Pro, also known as the Mi 90 Pro, this is a device which is considerably old. A lot of people have stopped using it, but we chose to keep it because you guys wanted it. And we're going to continue making videos and trying different custom ROMs in this. Now, the only support that we expect from you guys is share these videos as much as you can, watch them as much as you can, even if you're not going to flash this particular ROM, because remember, we have no other modes of earning. This is our full-time job and we bring amazing content to you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the latest iteration of Cherish OS for this wonderful device. But before we get into the details, we have a giveaway going on of 10 plus smartphone cases across 10 different weeks that we're going to give away from our PhoneOps gear store. You can be a lucky winner. Every week we will be picking up a lucky winner. So choose to you know participate in that. The link is mentioned in the description. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because it does doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so let's see what we have here. We have Cherish OS version 3.6.5 official based on Android 12 L. Now this has been updated on the 26th of April 2022. We're not going to look at the source change log because it's going to be very, very long. Uh, it says switched default camera to this particular Gcam, updated Soviet star to the latest version. That's all that is mentioned as far as this particular ROM's change log for this device is concerned. The ROM is based on OSS vendor Soviet star kernel uses Android R firmware. The latest, latest official Orange Fox recovery is recommended. Now I have flashed this day before yesterday and since then I've been using it. The experience per se has been pretty good even if you talk about you know things like the Google feed and stuff but I'll tell you this coming from devices like the Poco X3 Pro and the Mi 11X which are 120 hertz in terms of refresh rate this does sometimes feel like a letdown and not to say that you know this device cannot handle it it's just unfortunate that this device doesn't really have a high refresh rate display but that's okay. Let's not complain about things, right? Now, overall, Cherish OS is pretty smooth, but it's not as smooth as I've seen on other ROMs. You can definitely bear it. Uh, you know, it's way smoother than MIUI. Even if you look at the app icon animations, they are just there. They work just fine. But I, I, I sometimes feel these are a little stuttery. The UI feels a little stuttery. So, you know, even in the multitasking menu, if you open mul multiple applications, Let's say like this, you do have screenshot, you do have select, all these options are present and they work absolutely fine. So that point of view, everything is okay. If you press and hold over here, you do have Monet UI with the new 12.1 style wallpaper chooser, which changes wallpapers with a beautiful animation. You do have your Android 12 widgets, which does a great job as well. And then you have something called as home settings as well, which I feel is still using the pixel launcher, which gives you access to some basic customization as far as the launcher is concerned. Now, moving on, if we actually go to wallpaper and style, you will have themed icons beta present over here and right off the bat, they're working fine. The Google feed is smooth as butter, you know, no major issues there, but it could have been better. I have seen Siberia perform better in terms of UI smoothness. But right now, as you can see that, you know, I'm con continuously using it. The animations and the responsiveness of the entire UI has increased. So that might be a sort of a power save feature in the kernel or something which, you know, detects that the phone is not being actively used. So it relaxes the processor, the refresh rate and, you know, probably whatever the options are available to the kernel. Now, if we talk about the quick tiles, I have... Yeah, I have gone ahead and, you know, enabled the different animations will look a little funny, but yeah, they are present and they work just fine. You also have things like, uh, let's see here. So yeah, you do have some additional quick tiles over here, like dark theme, color inversion, caffeine, ambient display, volume panel, music, gaming mode, compass. So, uh, yeah, Cherish OS does really have a lot of customization over here. As you can see, gaming mode is an option. So you can see this. 
I think they called it notification than Maku or something. I might be right or wrong in pronouncing that. But if you look at the status bar over here, I've done all the customization possible to see what all options I get. And this looks very, very busy. Even in the expanded menu, you I've selected the right side swipe down for quick tiles and left time will give you the notification. You can stop the gaming mode over here, right? You do have screencast as an option available. Where is my screen recorder? That is important to a lot of people over here. Uh, let's see here. Screen recorder, where are you? Yeah, there you are. So if you go to the screen recorder, yeah, you do have a ton of options, including internal and external audio. And I really like the way Monet UI is doing the color following over there. So that's something really, really neat. Now moving on, if you actually go to the settings menu, this will look like Oxygen OS. So that is something that I have chosen in Cherish settings. I will show you the Cherish settings before we end the video. But if you go to about phone, you go to Android version 12, you will see that this is 12L, Cherish version 3.6.5. This is the name of the maintainer, 5th April security patch and the kernel is the Soviet star kernel. Now, whenever we talk about Soviet star kernel, the performance has to be on point because Soviet star has been doing a great job across multiple ROMs and that's what I expect from this ROM as well. Now, let's talk about the important stuff over here. You know, network and internet, connected devices, display, all these things are present in all the ROMs, but let's talk about Cherish settings. Now, the settings layout is very, very simple, right? Status bar, quick settings, themes, buttons, animations, lock screen, power menu, notifications, miscellaneous. So all these things are mentioned over here. And if you go to status bar, you will see that you have a ton of customization. Moving on, if you go to quick settings, you can customize your quick settings in a variety of ways. If you go to the theme section, you can actually override the Monet UI and as you can see the settings layout can be changed as well. Moving on you have buttons, animations, lock screen, power menu customization and miscellaneous right you have the game space over here and the important part let's talk about this right you see the McLaren animation right so that is a customization option as well you can choose different icons and you can choose different types of animations and the fingerprint is just getting better and better with each and every Android update for under the display fingerprint scanner so that is a good thing now that's everything about cherish settings if you go to apps you will see that you don't have a game mode over here because the gaming mode is present in cherish settings so if we have a look at the game space as you can see it does have a ton of options to enhance your gameplay experience so that is good you might not get more fps but it's definitely sure that you will not be distracted or disturbed by notifications and other things right now if you go to display over here you do have all the standard custom rom options you do have DC dimming and high brightness mode present as well. So those are good things. Now, if you go to the battery section and you choose battery usage, I've been getting around four to five hours of screen on time and the charging speeds are pretty decent. It takes about one hour 15 to one hour 30 minutes to charge on a 27 watt charger, right? Now, not only all this, but if you actually go to Google Photos, you will also notice that you do get unlimited storage over here. So let's go ahead and skip this. Yep, unlimited storage for Google Photos. If you actually go to screenshots, let's talk about the performance numbers. But before that, as you can see, I've used it for one hour, 45 minutes and we are at 22% and 22% again. So we've been using the phone actively and the battery backup has been pretty decent. Now the average score was 177, 242 GIPS and the max score was 188, 958 GIPS. What can I say? So we start doing a brilliant job. Even if you talk about Antutu benchmark over here, 575,074. And if you actually go to Geekbench over here, let's see here. Okay, history. 742575. So pretty decent scores as far as benchmarks are concerned. Play Store certification is present. Widevine L1 is working fine. So watching or consuming content or using banking applications, you should not have any issues at all. Battery backup is pretty decent. A ton of customization options and Soviet Star will ensure that you get a pretty decent gaming experience. Now for me, in a day's usage, this has not been a deal breaker. You can definitely use the latest Cherish OS as a daily driver. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this review and remember to participate in the giveaway. I will see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.